I think my message is that the border is a great place. It's beautiful, um, it's, it's complex, and it's not just one thing. And that's what I try to portray in my art. You know, it's not, it's not what they say it is. Uh, we were born in Douglas, but you know, we lived in Phoenix and Sierra Vista, and eventually we lived in Agua Prieta, and so we had um, half of our childhood over there. And so we're not from anywhere, we're just, we're just from this border region. And it's the same with my grandparents and my parents. So my first project where I used the border as not only the concept, as part of the concept, but as physical material of the piece was border tapestry in which I wove fabrics that belonged to myself and my mother and I also used colors that my grandmother would have loved. She passed away right before I was born and so um, you know I wanted to interweave our connection, our love, our, our stories because that exact that is exactly how it exists in reality. Everything is interwoven on in this place, whether the fence is there or not. Um, as an artist, I think my focus is um, on women of color, um, just because I'm still trying to understand, right, all of the the trials and tribulations that go with navigating, you know, as a woman of of color. And it's I'm a student, you know, in that in that topic still, and I seek to understand. And and through my process of understanding, I try to create things that might bring meaning. Art activism for me is talking about your your point of view as an artist or, or as a citizen, as a human. You know, whether it's a you know countering um, something that's happening. Um, with your art, so in, whatever it is, whatever your opinion is, you know, to make art that communicates that opinion. And if people are going through things and you're aware of it, and they're not able to stand up for themselves, then I think as artists, you know, we should play that role if we can.